Okay, we are pressure testing the 800 block finally. Got some fair weather. Um, I've got a, it's blowing bubbles out from here because this hose doesn't fit tight enough. These are hard to get seated because there's not much room to get them down here. Um, but I pressure tested this block. What you do is you get your soapy water. I use Dawn, not that it matters. Um, you use a test kit like this. You can shut off your air pressure with this here. You dial the pressure way down with this unit here. And then you're testing that the pressure stays for a few minutes. Two or three minutes, you're good. Um, you're looking for air bubbles leaking out of your engine. Because if you have an air leak on this two-stroke engine, you're going to burn up your new build. Of course, your spark plugs have to be tight. Everything has to be torqued. I had a special plate made to fit the exhaust. Uh, and I've used a clear RTV sealant on the back of that. And what you're looking for is every place in your case where it fits together. You don't want it blowing bubbles. Um, you may end up getting leaks out of here if you didn't seat these right, which I didn't. This one's got to be seated better. And then I've got a leak here. Tiny, tiny seepage under this bolt. That's okay. You don't want air leaking out from under your uh, head anywhere or your cylinders or your front or rear seal you don't want any air coming out of there uh, and you don't want air coming out of your power valve covers uh, I don't have that so this engine is uh, ready to go in after the pressure test now you want also I go ahead and turn the compressor way down to the pressure because you don't want to put too much air pressure in here. I use three to five pounds. Uh, and pump it up. If you put too much pressure, you can blow these seals right out. So you don't want to do that. Um, this one's checking good. So I can uh, put this one on in the ski. But that's how you do a pressure test. Now, pressure test. Ericsson's Machine and Performance has an excellent video on how to build yourself one of these pressure testers. So go to Ericsson's Machine and Performance, uh, pressure testing a two-stroke engine block. He'll tell you how to make one of these. It's just a couple of gauges. This is a, a regulator valve, and you've got a shutoff valve. It's all quarter NPT, and then uh, you just have to find a way to hook it up to your ski of course you're having to plug off one of the holes because you've got two vacuum lines running on this one so plug one and uh, put pressure in through the other to do your block test um, and it, it's a pretty simple procedure but it's something that you need to do if you're building these engines if you build one and it's got a, a vacuum leak anywhere you're going to lean the thing out and it's going to tear your piston all to pieces you're going to you're going to blow up a brand new build so it's very important to do one of these tests unless you're just so confident that your build was perfect there you go all right so cotter key in place um this one was kind of tight i had to tap it make sure you put your bendix in because you will not be able to get it in after you put the flywheel in and torque your flywheel bolt back down uh, i put a little marine grease on the back of this shaft the front is the part that has the spring i use the magnet to hold my spring i'll put a little grease in there and uh put that cover on and torque those down to spec but uh, that's going to be it and then I'll, I've got the little rubber damper piece to put on the bottom that this one the GP 800 had that I've got to pull off these pull off this um, yeah we're getting ready to uh, reinstall this engine finally been about time had to wait for spring weather to get here. We're doing it.